Today we are making this maple leaf quilt block. So this block is a nine inch block. And to do that, we're going to need some half square triangles. This is for the points of, this, of the leaf. So I've got three that I've already made here, but I'm going to show you how to make half square triangles. Um, so for each one, you're going to need a four inch square in white and a four inch square in a color. Okay, so we'll, sh we'll show you that in a minute. You're also going to need so just some plain squares, and these are three and a half inches, so I've just got a variety of colors, three colors, and then a white square for this top part up here. And then lastly, what we're going to need is we're going to need some fabric to make this um, stem block here. So I have a strip of fabric here. This is one by six and a half, and then you'll need a four inch square in white. So to get started, we'll do the half square triangles first. Um, grab your white piece of fabric and then you'll need a ruler and a pencil. Um, if you use a quilting ruler, you can see along the edge there is a quarter inch marking. And I use that to line up from corner to corner. And then I draw a line on the edge of the ruler. This gives me a seam allowance one quarter inch away from the center. So I just do that on both sides. And those are the lines I'm going to sew on. So I'm going to grab my square fabric, my four inch colored square, and I will place the white on top. And I will just go over to the sewing machine and sew along those two lines. Okay, so we have our half square triangle here. We're just going to take our ruler, line it up from corner to corner between the seams, and we will just slice it right in half. And then we are going to trim up the square. So what we want it to be is three and a half inches when we're done. So I have this ruler. I'm just gonna line up the three and a half inch marking on the seam, and then we'll just trim on the outside of the ruler, just like that. And so then when we open that up, it will be a perfect three and a half inch square. Okay, and then we're just going to press these open. And then lastly, we will just trim off these little tails. And then we'll have our half square triangles. Okay, so next we're going to be making the stem block of our leaf. And so we have our four inch square here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cut from corner to corner, right down the middle, just like that. Then we're going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew this strip. This is one inch by six and a half. So I'm just going to place it right sides together and then I will just sew along here. And then once that's sewn, it will be something like this. I'm going to lay this piece down. I'm going to try to line up the points. I'm just eyeballing it, but I'm just gonna line up the points so that the points are um, in line with each other as they sew and then we're going to trim it down, so it doesn't matter if it's perfect, but I just like to get it somewhat close. So, and then we'll sew along this seam right here. Okay, so we have our block here, and I'm just going to grab my iron, and I'm just going to press it flat. And I'm going to press towards the center and then when it when you get it all flat it will lay nice and flat like that so we'll just go ahead and give it a nice press and then you can see the back this is what I like it to look like on the back so now we're going to trim up our block to three and a half inches and I have this ruler here it has diagonal lines I'm going to use this I'm going to line up the diagonal with the stripe and I'm going to trim one side. Now I want to make sure that I leave enough room, so I'm going to watch my three and a half inch markings. I have it oriented so that um, the three and a half inch markings are along the edge, and I can see that I'm going to have extra. 
on those sides, so that's good. And I'm gonna just trim the top and the bottom. I didn't quite get that. Okay, and then we're going to flip this around. And this time I'm going to line up the ruler. I'm going to have these three and a half inch markings right along the edge of the square. And then we'll just do the same thing, trimming off the extra. And then that will give us a three and a half inch square. Okay, so now it's time to lay out our block. So I'm just gonna grab my three squares of colored fabric. They're going to go on all sides and diagonal of this stem block. Um, and then we're going to put our leaves on. Now, I don't wanna have the same color next to each other. I'm going for a scrappy look. So I'm going to arrange them so that they're not um, right next to each other. Okay, and then lastly, we'll have our just our white square there in the corner. So we'll just sew this now like a nine patch. We'll just take this row and sew it together and then come back for the other rows. Okay, so there we have our rows. We're just going to give them a quick press um, to flatten them out. So I'm going to take the top and the bottom rows and I will press them towards the middle and then the middle row I'm gonna press towards the outsides. We're just going to take these over to the sewing machine and we will just sew each row together with right sides together. Okay, we'll just press our block open. All right, so there you have the maple leaf quilt block. That's just a fun, scrappy um, quilt block. Of course, you could do it all the same color or whatever if you'd like as well. But um, go ahead and go back and watch my other videos. I have this fun pumpkin quilt block, uh, a patchwork type, and then also this striped pumpkin. And then there is also a tutorial for this uh, acorn quilt block. So check those out.